Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Uh, this is number seven on the practice test for Math 950. Write an example of the commutative property for multiplication. So one example, let's just, it, it doesn't matter what numbers we use, you could use uh, variables and look at this more abstractly if you want, but it's not really going to matter. So I'm going to put out three numbers. And I have five, seven, and eleven. So it's commutative property of multiplication. So I would have to be multiplying all of these, like this. And from here, what I can do is commute these or move them around. So I have multiplication, but now instead of 5 being in the front, maybe 5 is in the middle. And maybe instead of 7 being in the middle spot, it is in the front, but the 11 didn't move. That's okay, because the 5 did move. And so did the 7 to the front. So this would be an example of the commutative property of multiplication. And that would be fine, of course, if you wanted to go further. You, you could say something like, well, maybe I want to move the 11. The 5 has been in those other two positions, so I'll put it at the, la at the back. And maybe the 7 in the middle now. So as long as you combine any of these together, uh, again, there are more examples like this one that I use. Uh, of course, you could have used letters as well, and maybe only use two of them. And I think we use this more in class. A times B is the same as, well, B times A. Uh, and you can put them together if you choose. Uh, maybe you'd rather see it that way. A times B equals B times A. It's not going to matter. They all mean the same thing, and they show the commutative property of multiplication.